Don't you just love Sundays? It's time to get my boots on, go and feed the chickens, and while I'm out there, have a look at what maintenance needs doing to their run. <laughs> As you can see, uh, we've got quite a lot of water logging in the ground here. Um, and although it's not a problem for the chickens, they don't really mind it too much, I do think it'd be nicer if we could dry it out a bit for them, just make it a little bit more comfortable. It's time to go to our local garden centre and see what we can find. Right, we've had a look around and we've found what we need here. Uh, some nice thick bark chips. So this should be perfect, should soak up some of the moisture in the chicken pen and also make it drier for them to be walking around on and preserve the soil as well so it's not getting ruined by them walking around on it all the time. So here we go. Jackson Pollock design here on the front, created by John. And this is the flat we drop down in the evenings, just to shut the girls in so that they're safe from the fox. The other feature we've got is this ladder system. It took our first couple of chickens a little while to get used to it, um, but really only a couple of days, and considering they'd never used one before, that was pretty, pretty speedy, really. And then when we got the new two chickens, they just seemed to follow the other ones up. So again, it only took them a couple of days. And what we've got inside is the full area of the, uh, of the chicken house, which is easily big enough for four, four birds. We've got this sliding tray here, which you can pull out, obviously, for cleaning, for cleaning the birds out. We've got a simple covering of sawdust here on the ground. And then at the back, you can see we've got this old tray, uh, which was actually a shelf from a, a cupboard we had. And that's our nesting box. And let's hope we might have an egg in it. They seem to be laying at the moment about one or two eggs a day, depending on which birds are on. But like I say, we're in the middle of winter, so we're doing quite well to be getting any eggs at all. And yes, there we go. A nice freshly laid egg. Oh, it's still warm. It's still warm. And that will have been laid, I think, judging by the colour of it, by Birdie, our light Sussex, the white chicken that you might have seen earlier. And uh, she's been very reliable recently. This is a pretty big size egg for her. She's been laying a couple of double yolkers recently, which means that she's eating really well. So let's hope that that's another double yolk. One of our lovely strings of sprouts here. They're a little bit small, but uh, the chickens have jumped on them. So to be honest, it's out of the ground now. We might as well take it in and eat them. But they look beautiful. I'm sure they're going to be lovely and sweet and uh, freshly picked from the garden. What could be better than that? Chickens are great pets, but remember to provide them with clean drinking water every day. And of course, the most important thing, and the thing that the girls really love, feeding time. Their food contains all the vitamins, minerals and calcium they need to keep them healthy and help them lay delicious eggs. And here comes Muffet, our French marin. We don't want her to be left out. And now it's time to meet the girls. So this is one of our Rhode Island Reds. This is Fireman Sam that was named by uh, our friend's son. It was four, so Fireman Sam's obviously very important. Didn't quite realise maybe that this is a hen and not a cockerel, but hey, you don't mind your name, do you, Fireman Sam? This is Birdie, our light Sussex. She's one of the newer arrivals um, and a beautiful looking bird. She's looking a bit grubby at the moment because it's been so wet. 
but she's been laying extremely well. I can feel just where my fingers are there. She's got a lovely full crop, so she's obviously been eating all morning. And uh, is this one of your eggs? Yeah. So she lays these beautiful, big, uh, light-coloured eggs. And I can tell you from having two this morning for breakfast, they're beautiful poached. So we'll put you down there, Chloe. Her name's Muffet, and she's also been laying eggs as well. The most beautiful eggs that we get here, in fact, they're light uh, to eat. And they're dark brown in colour, very shiny. They almost look like they've been varnished, don't they? But uh, yeah, I'm going to put her down now because she's enjoying eating the sprouts so much that she just wants to uh, jump on my sprouts. Thank you very much for that.